Why you don't smoke hookah? Oh, that ain't my vibe. I can't see me blowing it. <laughs> you I can't see me on the hookah. You wouldn't do the, you know, the IG story where you blow the smoke. No, I can't do. <laughs> Whoever do the hookah, that's on them. But I can't. I can't do the hookah. You know? What's going on guys, I'm Speedy, and the name of this show is 360 with Speedy, and today I am joined by Grammy-nominated <laughs> Memphis's very own Money Bag Yo is in the building. What's Bag, what's up, you? man, how are you? I'm feeling good, what's up with you? Good, bro, happy to have you back. It's been a while, but you've been on this exact stage before. 2020. 2020, yeah, how's yeah. everything been? It's been good, I'm just, I just been staying focused, just been working, locked in, you know what I'm saying? I want to go back to that, like, how I was grinding when I, like like what you say, when I first came to upcoming mm -hmm. grind, that's what I'm on right now, so that's why I'm back. Yeah, you yeah. might be the first person I've ever seen with bust down laces. <laughs> Talk to me about these, where uh, where'd you out, get these from? Uh, my guy, he pulled up on me, you know what I'm saying? I was in, where I was, I was in, uh, I was in L.A. Uh -huh. before I went to the Lakers game, Memphis versus the Lakers. He pulled up on me and surprised me with these. And, Shit, I fuck with them. They, yeah. they dope. They dope. That's they, tough. I I've never seen nothing like that before, but they I fuck die. with them. All right, well, let's take it all the way back to the beginning for you. You and Big Homie G was sleeping on the floor. Yeah, we were sleeping on the floor in the Mill Creek apartments. Uh, this, uh, they go back to saying like when I was taking, we were doing what we had to do to get forty dollars, hundred dollars here, this and there. It was like in the streets, it was up and down, and we were just taking the money and going to One Sound Studios and recording. Um, with the engineer Scott, he was. He's a science engineer that's with me today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so she really, basically, that's it. I just took everything I had and, and did make that happen. Now and got we, us off the floor. When people say sleeping on the floor. Literally. Like, like no pallets. No like, mattress. No mattress, like pallets of covers. Like me and the, I, I remember I had this girl I was messing with, you know what I'm saying? I used to drive her bands and, you know what I'm saying, get money up off of whatever. She used, she used to rock with me. Uh, and, um, we used to, I used to make patterns. She used to respect it, just come over there, sleep on the floor with me. You know what I'm saying? We that's a real one. Treat it like it was a bed. You know what I'm saying? That was a real one. So you used to just stack up blankets on the floor? Yeah, like two, three covers. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all really in. sleep on the floor? Try to get to the next day. Yeah. Damn. And how long did that period last for? Oh, uh, that period lasted for, that was in the making of federal. I say it lasted for probably mm, six months. Damn. About six months. Do you feel like your body took, like that took a toll on you at all? Nah, I'm young, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. Damn, six yeah. months on the floor. Yeah. Look at you now. Look at me now. In the penthouse. <laughs> in the penthouse, <laughs> magic. Um, you, at this time, you started to get your first little money from shows. You was getting 2,500 to show it at the, at the yeah, time. Yeah, this, this how it started. Um, it started with 500. Um, it started with 500 first. Probably like one or two shows, and then immediately after the 500, it went to 2500, and that's how my that's how my stuff was jumping. It was going from 25 to 10 to 25,000. Like it was like it was doing real big jumps. Yeah. So I knew it was like we was on to something. Sure. Yeah. Do you remember that first ever check? That very yeah, first. Yeah, the first check? ever check, um, which was the 2500. It was the uh, they had booked me at um, they booked me at uh. Dream it was a club called Dream on Winchester and Hickory Hill in Memphis. Uh, they they booked me and, and around this time I think Gucci was in jail or something, and they were like, "Bro, this it, it like this like I'm like how I look up there, I'm scared, you know what I'm saying? I'm like how I look up there, they're like, "Bro, look like Gucci just got out of jail up here, you know what I'm saying?" So my, I pulled, I couldn't believe the look, like the love was dead real for me. I went in there, they really worried for worried every like everything I had out at the time. It really shocked me, bro. Yeah. Like, I was like, damn, like hard work. Like, you, you can't put, you can't, you can't tell what's gonna take off. You can't tell what's, when it's gonna happen. It's just do. Yeah. yeah. But but before that performance, you was nervous. Most definitely, like pulling up, and I pull. I'm, I remember we was in a Max. Well, not not a Max, but a Kia. I was in the passenger side of a Kia. I'm pulling up to the place, and I'm looking at all the cars like going in. It's bagged up. The lines real long. Parking lot full, and I'm like, I'm asking, bro. I'm like. D folk for me, like DP. <laughs> I'm looking at him like, yeah, he's like, yeah, bro, they, you the only person like we booked you, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, and that was just crazy. I'm sure at this point you're very used to, you know, there being lines of people to come watch you perform. Yeah. Uh, but do you ever miss a time like that, like pulling up I, and being I actually excited? missed the whole. Like this is what I'm telling you, like right now, like when we first crunk it up, it was like I'm telling you, like I I want to go back to that grind to where like 
I don't want to be too comfortable. I don't want to yeah. be content. I want to get that, go back to that grind and that, that hungerness, that ambition, that hustle, and just and just push just like I did when I was getting twenty five hundred a show. You once said, at that time, you realized that you have to look like money to get money. Exactly. What, what do you mean by that? You have to look like, like money to get money. You got to like. I mean, who gonna believe you? Like, who gonna believe like? Like all this stuff you saying, all this stuff, like who's gonna believe you gotta like I I used to get my, my homeboys chains, put their stuff on, just get fly, you know what I'm saying, put it together. Like even even before I had money, bro, I used to I still like had style, I still knew how to dress, like even from the, the smaller brands, like I just putting the colors together and putting mm -hmm. the it don't matter what it was. It wasn't Louis, it wasn't none of that at the time, but I always knew how to put it together. So it's like I, I just understood like when I used to look at everybody, the yo goddess and the, the boosters, the juvenile, just everybody, freakers and everybody's like, they fly, like, but I'm gonna make it to my best abilities. I ain't got the money yet, but I'm gonna make, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna yeah. make you feel me. And you feel like in order for someone to say, oh, I'm gonna give this person a check, I'm gonna book them, that you have to have uh, uh, a look about you that- yeah, You can't go up looking homeless or looking like you sleep on the floor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even if you are sleeping on the floor, you can't, you can't look like. You can't pull up looking like you sleep on the floor. You gotta have motion. <laughs> yeah. So at this point in your career, you're starting to get motion. Things are good. Mm -hmm. uh, you start to make your first uh, big bags. Yeah. Do you remember that first bag that you was like, "Oh shit! Like this is a the big this is one, a serious one." The biggest one. Uh, at, uh, you know, early bag. Oh, uh, the early like? on yeah. bag. That you like, damn, I'm getting this much. Yeah, it, it's probably like the fifteen thousand. Like when I was booked, like bro, like it was a point of time, like. When I was on that road, this is when I'm riding in the um, them dirt roads. I'm, I'm in them trucks, and it wasn't no jets, it wasn't no flights or nothing like that. It's like 15,000 a show, but I got this Monday, like so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even on Tuesdays. Like my, this, like how I was booked up. I'm booked up almost through the week, almost. Like really having like probably Wednesdays and Thursdays off, mm -hmm. and really just four, five shows a week. Damn. Crazy, like, but 15, you feel me? Yeah. Like, it was it was a real blessing. It was an experience for sure. Are you still with the same people that you came up with back then when you yeah, were doing the show? Yeah, most definitely. But, you know, I went through a point of time when I was, like, trying to do stuff like, okay, let me, I feel like I got to have these type of people around me because I'm getting to this level. Mm -hmm. And these type of people don't understand that level, but that burnt me. Like, that scarred me. And I saw, like, this industry, this, this cut, though, so... You know, so I was like, well, I'm finna just employ my own people and we finna do this. Wait, what do you mean? So like there was a time where you was like, damn, maybe I should get like professional people or yeah, something? Yeah, like real like professional. Like, of course, like it's professional people around me today, of course, but it's like they understand me and then I help them, I help them grow. I help them grow and help them expand and help their mind open up and look, this is how we gotta do it and put them on game, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we did and I just made it like just a whole brick game thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's the importance, would you say, of having people around you that you can trust? You know, like these people that you came up with, you can leave something around them and know that it ain't gonna go missing. You can sleep around them without having to worry. Like the importance of, of having that loyalty in the crew. Yeah, but you know, like some people didn't, you know, I ain't gonna say no nice, but some people didn't su surprise me. You'll be surprised, like sometimes the people that's closer to you be the sourest, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, I done been through all them different type of phases and levels in life where you have the people that you think you bringing with you and they done stole from you, you know what I'm mm. saying? But you ain't thinking, and then boom, you might sweep it on the rug, get them, give them a benefit of the doubt, and it's boom, they they do it again, and it's like, oh my life. Damn. You can't do nothing but fault yourself at that point. Yeah. Cause it's like, I already knew what you did, I let you do it again. Yeah. Cause who you is, like you can't even have the benefit of the doubt for people no more. Like, right? You feel me? Do you feel like that's kind of jaded the way you look at and approach other relationships? Like, man, maybe I should be, you know, not so quick to jump into trust people. Maybe I should keep, you know, yeah. Always because in the back like I'm a, I'm a Virgo, brother. It's like I love hard. It's like when I when I rock with you, when I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. You got my all. Like, yeah. like if I if I if I really rock with you, I'm gonna get. You might get my lash. You get the shirt off my back. That's how, that's how I am. And, once I let people in, they understand it, and they some people take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Some people like cherish that, and and, and stand with me with that. But you know how that be. Damn. So it happens to the best of it us. It happens to the best of us for sure. Damn. Even bad. Even bad. <laughs> Sheesh. You feel me? Uh, I remember you at a time signed to Rock Nation. Yeah. Are you still down with Rock Nation management? No, they they the family, but we ain't doing business right now. Not anymore. They the family, most definitely for sure. Okay. What yeah. made you decide to move in another direction? 
Uh, I just had different, you know, just bigger, you know, different different visions, different visions and things. I okay. wanted to go just try something else. Okay. Uh, yeah. But you did get a chance to meet Jay. No, was for sure. At the Rock Nation brunch, was it? Was it was about, yeah. What, what was that like, me, me and Jay? It was just, it was it was grateful to just be in the presence of somebody like him, you know what I'm saying? It was it was motivating. It, 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 uh, it helped me understand, like, where I was and where I'm at now. And, and, you know, it just kept me focused and kept me pushing. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a little different for you because you're from the South, but up here, Jay-Z yeah. was, like, exactly. know, our no. guy. No, for sure. Uh, for you guys in the South, who who was it? W would you say, was it Boosie? Was it uh, uh, Future or I say Juvie? Who, who no, was I it say all of them. Like, like, if you had to get my top five, you would get, like, Yo got like Yo Gotti, Boosie, Juvenile, Future, like that's what there was. You feel that's me? That's four. You got if you said top five, girl, top just five. throw one more in there. Throw one more in there. Uh um, Jeezy for sure. Jeezy. I don't know how I can, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I have to get there, but Jeezy for sure. Was that those five artists, would you say those are like the soundtrack to to your your coming up and your Most definitely that's what I was on. That's yeah. What, you know what I'm saying? Maybe percent, that's what I was on, that's what I was listening to. Mother's Day just passed. Yeah. Uh you, I said you smoked with your mom on Mother's yeah. Day. What was that like? Do you normally hit the blunt with her, or is that like, like a special I just festivity? Help to loosen up, just loosen up. But like you know, even at this at this level, of just I'm having the success, and she's seeing her son and go through all this different stuff in real life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and she going through stuff. Uh, also, uh, it, it loosen up, ma. Like here, hit the blunt. <laughs> Hit this gumbo chill, you know what I'm saying? Let's have fun. Let's just enjoy what we're doing right now. Yeah. So that was one of those moments. What's it like for her to see her boy, you know, doing what you're doing? She is extremely happy for me. She she is extremely happy. She she always texts me, you know what I'm saying? I love you, proud of you, what you're doing. Don't let these haters, you know what I'm saying, throw you off. Cause she, you know, she see my mama, she be ready to, she on the come in, she ready to fight back, she ready, <laughs> she ready to throw down about me like. You know what I'm saying? Send screens, I send me stuff. I just be telling her to stay focused. Like, man, we, mom, we ain't worried about that. Like, they gonna do that. You gotta accept it. We doing something if they doing it. Since right. they, do, you know what I'm saying? They mean we doing something. Right. You feel me? So she get it now. Damn. So mama bag be in the comments. Mama like, bag be ready, back man. At people? She be ready. She she on Facebook. She sharing this with her comments. And <laughs> it's funny. Throwing down. <laughs> all of our moms are still on Facebook. For what, like, Facebook is still the thing for the older yeah, generation. Yeah, I still, I, I still got some homeboys that's on Facebook. Really? I still got some of the like some of the dudes that surround me. Some my, some of the guys they still on Facebook. Like, yeah. You feel me? So that's how I be. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'm, I know in the past you've you've got her bust down chains. You've got her at Ben's. Mm -hmm. We're almost exactly six months away. Her birthday is November fifth. Most different time. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sure. No, I'm saying you you, you own it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Her birthday is almost six months away. You have an idea of, of what you're gonna get her this year? Oh, uh, I don't know this year. I gotta I gotta think outside the box because, you know, she kind of like used to stuff now. You know what I'm saying? She kind of used to it, but it's like I'm trying to see which way I can go with it right now. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say it because I know she's gonna watch this. Right, so right, right. <laughs> Mama bag be tapped in. She be tapped all in. Now before you were on, I'm sure like the rest of us, you look up and you see women that you're like, damn, man, I would love to have that one day. You're in a relationship now, but before mm -hmm. that, was there anyone that you ever looked at and you was like, damn, one day I'm gonna get that, and then you actually went and got it? Uh, no, I didn't actually get it, but you know, like when I was coming up and stuff, I had, like I even got this song called uh, Relentless, Relentless. Um, you probably can go look it up. I got this song called Relentless, and I just was lusting over Megan Good at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just the waist deep, the all the, the, the movies that she was in, I just was like affectionate with this woman, but it is what it is, that was then. Yeah. yeah, is it is it cool to be able to, you know, the people that were once your heroes or the girls that you once looked up to are now your peers, and now exactly. you can be now friends I'm, with them? Yeah, 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 so that's crazy, like now I might bump into them in this room or this party and network with them and hey, how you doing, and it's just, yeah, that's, that's crazy. I stay thinking about that like, man, it's crazy, like when you go back and think. Are there people that you're still excited to meet, or at this point have you met everyone that you? Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I met I'm, I met quite a few people. You know what I'm saying? Quite a few people. Uh, but even though, even then, bro, I had to say like, I wasn't even like shocked. Like when I got in a room with certain people, like sure. no matter how I got in the room, I wasn't like starstruck. Star like yeah. I wasn't starstruck and like, wow, I'm in a damn, bro, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I just always understood the the the. Uh, 
the lane and what I'm doing, like, all right, bitch, look, I need to get this picture. They might think something going on. At that time, like, boom, you got, it's gonna bruise my profile up, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me get this picture right here. Let me stand over here by this guy, you know what I'm saying? Get saw in this video and that, that just meant something for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It wasn't even just about doing, like, bro, take a picture with me, doing all the groupy activities. Right. I've never been just into that. Right. I just understood the being like, I gotta get this look with them to get here. Like, you sure. know what I'm saying? So That's an interesting way to think about it though, because you know, you might be in a room, but you have to, there was a time when you might strategically place yourself somewhere in the room yeah, yeah. so that someone in the video might capture you in the background yeah. and be like, oh, bag is with Denzel Washington. Washington you know what yeah. I'm saying? In a, in, in a like this. So that's, that's how I used to look at it. And sometimes I did, not saying like trying to be perfect or whatever, I did ask for pictures, you know what I'm saying? Dep depending on the vibe or the setting or just going off the aura, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And like, bro, can you think I can get a picture with you? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something, something like that. But if I peep and then you just like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, I just Let me place know. myself in the, you know what I'm saying? And just get that look. Have you ever asked someone for a picture and they said no? Uh, so my, no, no, no. Good. Nope. Because I, it's like I always was good with the time and like it's all right. like I was. You gotta just, know when to ask. <laughs> I understood that even like when I see people with me, I be like, like when people how they do with me, but you like they fans, you can't understand. You gotta understand like they don't see you every day. They don't sure. get to see you like this might this be the real, only. This chance might be the only chance I get you. this close and these this many foots in between money back. Mm -hmm. Yo, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm understanding now. But at first it was like, bro, you don't you can't look on my face and tell them having a bad day, or you right. can't. Bro, I don't want to take a picture right now. Like, yeah. But fan, you know what I'm saying? I still just do that for them, though. Do you feel like that took a while? That was like a maturity thing in your career for you to understand the perspective of the fans and why they might be the way they are? Yeah, because I had homeboy, like, I had, like, kind of like my big bro, like, right now, bam. Like, he used to, like, little bro. Like, coming from where I'm coming from, it's, it's just a Memphis thing. It's just, I feel like it's a Memphis thing and just a Memphis aura. It's like, I always used to walk in and just, like, Poker face, just straight face, just straight face mafia. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, look, bro, you got to chill out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was the tip pull me to the side. I was like, you got to chill out, bro. You got to open up. You ain't gonna get nowhere. Like, in this in this industry, like these, like they don't go off the. You, you down there gonna scam. Mm -hmm. You down there gonna scam. And this game, you got to almost be like, oh, like like Young Thug told me something before. Like, it was so crazy. Uh, free Young Thug, Free Thug. He had told me like. This is around the time we had did mandatory drug test um, and uh, bust down two records. Yeah. And uh, he was telling me like, bro, like I could tell like we come from the, we don't come from the same city, but we coming from the same place, the same environment. It's like, it's like, bro, like in this in this game, you ain't gonna even like to hear this, but I can tell you got a pure heart. I can see how you moving with your people, but in this game to get where you going, you have to be fake. You almost mm -hmm. have to be fake sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to play the part and mm -hmm. you get know what I'm saying? Just smile the whole time in your head. This ain't even really where I want to be. This one was this what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just have to play the part. So I just I fed off that. Shout out to Thug Free Thug again and yeah. Yeah, that's some real advice right there. That's some real advice. There's gonna be days where you're not in the mood, but you have to smile through it and act like you're happy. Definitely got to keep pushing no matter what. Sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do. Exactly. In this game, personality really does sell. For sure. I mean, sometimes you don't even have to be a great artist. You can really just, just personality, have a great personality. Like you just be a fun person. Like people, I just want to be around this dude. Like, right. I want to be, he, he look fun. He look like he, he had a time in his life all the time. And yeah. then, you know, like in the world we in right now, a lot of people is going through pain and mm -hmm. going through stuff. And you know what I'm saying? They, people want to be around it. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm kind of, that's, that's the space I'm in right now. Okay, we know Money Bad, yo, he made great music. He he been making great music like from what, six, seven, what, eight, what, seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. So what else do we know? What, what we want to know about Money Bad? Right. Like, what do he do? Like what do, how, how he like the, what he like to eat? You right. know what I'm saying? What, how he pick his clothes? How do he put this drip together? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's just the stage, I mean, just letting, kind of letting people in, but not giving them everything. Yeah, you can't you give know, them everything. Can't give but, them everything. But you give them a little something that people are like, wow, that's so interesting. You spoke about your girl, uh, Ari. You yep. met her at a sex, Fifth Avenue, while you were shopping? Yep. But um, I met her at the sex, but that ain't, I ain't approach her at the sex. Oh, you just seen her we can, at the sex? Yeah, we yeah we seen each other like from across the room. Like she was over, like they had two different checkout joints. She checking out over there. I was checking out over there, 
And it's like, bro, they're like, bro, they go, oh, they go, oh, they go to origin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, for real, boom, boom, boom. Did you know while I'm standing in that sax from across the room, like, yeah, that that's gonna be me. I'm gonna get that. No, nah, I ain't, I ain't know. It's just like at that moment, it was like I was just trying it. Like you don't never, you know. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you be like, I'm gonna get that. It's gonna be the one. Mm-hmm. Just did it there or whatever. Like shout out to Mr. Rugs, like. I've been with her like four years. Like yeah. I've been with her four years. He put it together. He put the play together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just through, just like, still through the good, bad, and the ugly. I just was convinced, like, this is the one for me. Like, she, like, this is my homie. Like, this is my dog. Like, it's love, a friend. Like, everything, the whole relationship, like, gonna tell you, like, bro, you lame. Like, this lame. Don't do that. Don't, like, she gonna, like, she squaring you up. Yeah. Off the muscle. And we, us as men, like, we need that. You mm-hmm. know, you need your woman to tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? Some dudes feel like, feels like tough or, so entitled to the point like a, a woman can't tell them nothing. Like mm. you can't feel like that. You got to know like she got your best interest sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Most times she got your best interest. She y'all a reflection of each other. Yeah. So she don't want you to go out and do no goofy, look goofy. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to reflect on her. She probably got to bag you up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or, or vice versa. So it's like I understood that too. Would you say that's one of the things that really drew you to her was the fact that she could keep it real with you? Yeah, keep it real. And you know, I like that ghetto. I like that record. You know, I come from that. Yeah. But it's like, it, then it's like, you know how to, you know how to deal with, you know how to do it. Like, you know how to turn it on and off. Mm-hmm. You're going to be like this sometime. You might do that on the internet. Who cares? The internet is internet, the internet or whatever. And then in person, like the people that, that think this way of her, because of the internet, she ain't even liked it for real. Like mm. so, it's like they might be asking me, "Bro, why you want, why you with this or why you doing this or why you still you can do you could be doing it." But it's like this is this. I feel like this like this is my vibe. Like yeah. this is my vibe. I ain't I ain't the, I ain't looking for all the other type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just this this. You know what I'm saying? This was it. For Damn, me. real one. Yeah. Uh, one of the greatest gifts I've ever seen. She bought you land. Yeah, she bought me gift. land. That was love. Well, that was shocking because I'm expecting the norm, like the typical. You go, I'm probably gonna get some kind of piece of jewelry, right? Some watch, you like know, what I'm car, saying? car, like something like that. But the land, it was like 28.8 acres. It's like 38. That's like, wow. You hear me set my kids up, you know what I'm saying, for the future. You know what I'm saying? I'm forever grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna bust it down with my kids, get them an acre of peace and. You know, whatever, do whatever the dress. Did you have no idea that that was the gift that she was about to get you? No, I ain't have, no, I ain't know that. They surprised me with it. I'm like, then it's like after I got my gifts from everybody else, I got my gifts from everybody else. Um, I had like a dinner or something. They drove me down. I'm like, where are we going? You know what I'm saying? Whole time we getting closer and closer to my hood. You know what I'm saying? We getting closer and closer to my hood. So we uh we on South, we on Third Third Street where that's where the land at, Third and Horn Lake, uh, Four Road. And we pull up in this, this field. I'm like, what, what, what are we doing? I see the happy birthday, baby, all that old stuff, the 28.8 acres, the whole just laid out. So I'm like, damn, it's, it's different. You know damn. what I'm saying? It's, it's love right here. Damn, that is I'm impressive. still right now, man. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with it. I kind of got some ideas, but I'm just, I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to get it right, though. Yeah, you'll get it right. But beautiful, yeah. beautiful gift. There's a lyric on one of your new records, uh, but you also tweeted it the other day. Uh, it's, I be needing love, but I won't force it. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, um, I be needing love, but I won't force I mean. Is it a reflection of something that was going on in, in real time? Or yeah, it was, it was actually going on in real time. Because, you know, like, I go through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I go through a lot. I've been through a lot in, um, in this journey, in my whole journey. And it's just like sometimes you get to the modes and like when you need love at that moment, some like they might not be there for you mm. when you really need it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I ain't gonna force it. I'm not gonna just put it down about throw. I need, I need love. I need this and that. You need to come. You need to do this and you need to be. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I never been that type of person. So I don't know if it's a pride issue or it's a sympathy. But I ain't looking for none of it. But it's like. It is what it is, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's almost, like it is what it is at that point. Yeah, um, on a serious note, Takeoff is no longer with us, yeah. rest, in peace. rest in peace. And the last Takeoff. time you were on this stage, you told us a story yeah. about you helping the Migos out when the situation had unfolded. 100%. Uh, Takeoff lost a bracelet, yeah. you ran down the car and returned that bracelet with nothing in exchange. You didn't ask for nothing back, you just gave it back to him. Mm-hmm. Um, are you happy that you did that now because you'll you'll always have the, that memory? I won't, I won't say I'm happy. 
I'm happy to do that just because the situation would happen. I was just being, I was just coming from a pure place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, understood, like, what we were doing, like, I right, bet, I'm trying to get on and rap. This bracelet, all right, I can go probably get mm, 20 some thousand off the street for it or take it to the pawn shop and get less than that or whatever the case may be. But I'm looking at it like, if I get this back to him, I'm finna build this relationship. Yeah. I'm finna build a relationship with, with the Migos and that's just a stepping stone to where I'm trying to go. Let me get in. They gonna I do a song with them that's gonna broaden my 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 fan base up yeah. and expand me and put everybody else on top of me. Sure. So it's just I understood the the whole process of it. Like, and we tra we trail the they they hanging out the back with the guns. They like who, who, who is this following us? You know what I'm saying? Like pull up, pull up. We got the we got the uh, we got the bracelet. We wave the bracelet out the you know what I'm saying out the window and they pulled over the gas station. Real niggas, you know what I'm saying? Chopped it up, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, take off. It's an unfortunate situation. Yeah, definitely. But shout out to you for doing that, man. You're yep. a real one. Yeah, for sure. You're a real one. Bad, you got eight kids. Yeah, for sure. I know that costs a lot of money <laughs> to, to be a father of eight. No, you gotta, but you just, you gotta stay hustling, bro. Like, you gotta stay hustling. This is what, that would make me go harder. Like, this, I think about that every time because they always text me, Daddy, can I get this? And Daddy, and you like that's coming out the bankroll. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta kind of build a bankroll and build a pill the pillow to be bigger and better yeah. every time. So I know I'm hustling for them at the end of the day. Of course I love and want, you know what I'm saying, need and want them, but at the end of the day it's about them. Yeah. I feel like I got all the jewelry, I done done y'all done seen me buy all these different pieces of jewelry. Now I'm going into property, I'm going to land, I got the restaurant, Cache forty two. Mm -hmm. If you ever in Memphis go, you know what I'm saying, go go get that. That's a vibe. And it's just, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. It seems like your focus has shifted from, you know, uh, from the jewelry to like investments and stuff yeah, cause like that. Yeah, because it got boring. Yeah. Jewelry got boring. I, I was looking, all right, got this piece. I wear it a week and it's like, okay, what's next? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I got this restaurant. I got this Cache 42 restaurant. It's like every time I'm in the city, that's where I want to pull up and eat. Yeah. That's where I'm seeing, I see the fa not just fans, like just normal people coming in there to eat. And they just like, oh, bag in here, and just it's just I see how it just lighten their day up just to see me in there, just in the over there on the hookah end with them. I don't do hookah, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not a hookah guy, but I'm just oh, that's 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 my vibe over there, uh, and just to see me just in there, just in cahoots with them, like this this guy's a like Grammy nominated superstar, just a big dude on the top of the food chain, and he in here with us, like yeah, the normal people eating, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a blessing. Why you don't smoke hookah? Oh, that ain't my vibe. I can't see me blowing it. <laughs> you I can't see me on the hookah. You wouldn't do the, you know, the IG story where you blow the smoke. No, I can't camera. do. It. <laughs> I can't, whoever do the hookah, that's on them. But I can't, I can't do the hookah. You know, I just roll me a blunt up. You know, we can't smoke in the restaurant. But you know, I get to the side and try to set a good example because you know sure. they see you doing something. They, they think oh, they, we can they smoke can do it. This is the side we can smoke, bro. <laughs> yeah. I had people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, man, we could just smoke over here, we right? Could, we could smoke over here. Nah, nah. We can go out, you know what I'm saying? Go to the back. Uh, but it, it's been special to watch you, you know, grow your investments. But before you got to a point where you're like, all right, I'm going to open a restaurant. I'm going to buy a property. I imagine you had to run through a good amount of money at first just I'm to get it out of your system. Most definitely. Probably, like, bro, I probably got mm, $3 million in jewelry, probably. Three million dollars of jewelry. And yeah, I probably got three. You talking about old pieces? You talking about when I first like started? And then you talking about pieces I done bought? Like, like matter of fact, not including the pieces I done bought for other people, artists, and people that's around me. Like, yeah. so if you want to like add that and be technical, probably about four or five. Like four or five million in jewelry. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, you know what I'm saying? Be technical with it, but I ain't yeah. even counting what I done for nobody. You know right. what I'm saying? I did that from the heart, but me myself, three million for sure. Like. I go over this. I got the appraisals and <laughs> insur insurance for this Damn. stuff. Damn. Yeah. And what about the pieces that you don't even rock with no more? You know what I'm saying? The pieces you might have spent a hundred thousand. I just look at them like they part of the legacy. Like okay. when I called the legacy, oh, this year I did this. I bought the Michael Myers chain. When they was when they when I went viral with the memes, they was checking me. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like Michael, looking like Michael um, in this picture, in this photo. I bet I, I took. The negative and made it positive with that that chain might frame or might do anything mm -hmm. might you know what I'm saying like I was looking at a uh, room Drake got in his house like a trophy room yeah. I might do something like actually I'm renovating my my uh, my mansion in Miami right now so it's like I'm doing it like I'm I'm trying to get a room where I just got all my accomplishments and everything I started with like with damn it. that's dope yeah uh, talk to me about investing in your cameraman 
yeah. he graduated from school and you told him that for every good oh, grade man, yeah. he got, he, you were going to give him a certain amount of money. How did that break you down? Had to keep, you had to keep everybody around you motivated too. You can't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like lazy people. Uh, not saying that everything got to be about money to do. I love a person that's like writing about the money. It's the passion for me. I love mm -hmm. what I do. I love that too, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we need, like, you got, you need the money. Like, people got life, people got mom, dad, family, sister, what kids maybe, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I just, I just feel like I had to just motivate him. I love what he was doing. Like, you working for me, you a cameraman, like, you working for me, you around me, like, five, six days out the week, and it's like, you would take this Wednesday to fly back home, go to school. It still means something to you, like, yeah. but you with a superstar, you can be, I can up your pay or you can ask me for this and that and I can make it happen for you, but you still choose to go to school. Yeah. I respected that, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, for every A you get, boom, boom, I got this for you. You know what I'm saying? So I think it came down to every A you were giving him 250. Oh, uh, yeah. And every B you was giving him $100. Exactly, most definitely, exactly. How much do you think he gave him at the end of the day? How much did he, did uh, he cash out on a bag? Probably like 2500 2500 I was like 2500 That means he yeah. got some good grades. He got some good grades. I'm a good kid, yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You said it's important to keep the people around you motivated. Why do you say, why so? Because that'll keep you motivated. Like, once, you, like, I don't like the bad vibe, like the, in, like, I'm, I'm an energy person. I go off energy. If I, if I walk in the room, excuse me, if I walk in the room and I sense this, like, this ain't where I'm supposed to be, I'm gone. Mm. And he was like, damn. It, it might where rub other people wrong sometimes. Like, people might be like, why, bro? Or whisper to my people, like, why, bad? Where you do that? Like, bro, bro, don't never like to be. That ain't even the case. My snipped out, this ain't the vibe for me. Like, I snipped it out. This ain't where I need to be at. Mm. This ain't where my, I need to have my energy and my, myself at. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how I look at stuff, bro. I'm just a big energy person in the room. Like, I don't be, if I don't feel it, I don't feel it. Like, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> a quick Google search shows that your net worth is $4 million. Wow. Is that accurate? No. <laughs> but I mean, the net worth, I think the net worth go off what, what it go off like what you got in the system or whatever you got in logged in. I, I forgot, somebody told me uh, whatever it is, the taxable dollars or, or whatever that may be, but. It is what I don't want to say too much about that camera's wrong. <laughs> but like, you're worth more about. than $4 million. Yeah, for sure. For surely. Most definitely. <laughs> Yo, like, your face made, is crazy. I made, <laughs> no, but I made way more than that last year. Like, you know. In one year. In one year. You'd so, love to see that. For sure. I mean, let's talk about the journey from, you know, that first $500 show, $2,500 show. Obviously, now you're making way more. Yeah. Um, what would you say is the biggest check you ever got for one performance? For one performance? Yeah. Uh, I got 200k for four. That's when I first went up and I was like, 200k a show. That's what it is. Y'all set the standard. Right. Y'all set the bar, so that's what it is. Like, 200k a show. That's what it is. And, um, you know, I'm still a hustler. I'm a street nigga at the end of the day, so I understand business too. So it's like, everybody ain't got the 200. Sure. I ain't going no less than 150, though. We're going to make it happen mm -hmm. with 175, 150, mm -hmm. what you got? I work you know with you. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to see what you got. How, but make it how make long sense. you need me on the stage? But I'm going to have to water you, water you down from the 200. And the 200, you're going to get all this out of right, it. Right, right, right. You're going to get all this. You're going to get your money worth. Make sure you get your money worth. But the 150, you might I'm gonna water it down a little mm -hmm. bit. But I'm still give you me. I'm going to yeah. give the fans the, good show, the best show of their life. It seems like you still have that hunger. You're still going to go get the bag. You're still going to go pop no, up. We ain't leaving no money on the floor. Like, I, like, like this stuff can be gone tomorrow. Like, anything can happen. Like, we still got to go scrape the money up. I don't care how it is. Like, like, you might look at it like some people look at me crazy for doing little weed posters and mm -hmm. different stuff like that. When I go up on the ground right now and I do little weed posters, it ain't even because I need the money. You know, I don't. I don't need the money, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I understand. Like, at the end of the day, I understand the hustle. Guess what? They finna pay me fifty, seventy-five thousand just for this story and, and feed posts. Guess what? My kids needed this. They paid for that. Well, I just paid my whole monthly expenses off two weed posters. Right. Now I ain't got to worry about it's no like bills. That. Like, some people, like, sometimes you got to think, like, that's just a hustle. Like, you got to think like a hustler. Like, you can't be like, I'm too heavy. I get this a show and this so you see it on the schedule and this this coming in and I see this this royalty check or this sound whatever the check the case may be you can't look at that and be like I ain't gonna do nothing else mm -hmm. and this money out there these folks trying to get they trying to give me this money yeah, they trying to, take to this give money. it to you you gotta I'm take, take it. this money you trying to give me this money <laughs> yeah so bag ain't leaving no money on the table no, I ain't leaving no money on the floor you can look at me how you want to look at me I know who I am I'm comfortable with who I am and I'm comforted about it so 
That's what it is. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. A lot of people out there don't understand what you mean when you say back end. You, if you listen to a money bag song, you hear the word back end all the time. Uh, for those who don't get it though, uh, can you explain to us what a back end means, especially when it comes to like doing yeah, a back club end, you get appearance? your front, you get your front end, which is the deposit. You know what I'm saying? They send you, like I said, the show two two hundred, they give you a hundred. You know, so you get your hundred. And they get they drop, boom, they get to promote, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Uh, that they get closer. Now that I get that much for a show, I, I require my money two days before. I have to, so I can set the travel and get yep. how I'm moving and get it together. You know what I'm saying? But it was a time where I was getting the money when I pull up and mm. that was the back end. But now I get my back end before. two days in advance because, you know, sometimes these promoters play games. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to all the real ones. But sometimes these promoters, they play games and I have to be on the safe side. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? The club money, is that the easiest money there the is The club money make? is the easiest money. Like, the stage I'm in right now, that's like walk-through money for me. Yeah. I don't go on, I don't go in the club and actually perform in the club right. no more. You I gotta do, be in the building. I do venues and arenas at this point in my career. Uh -huh. But it's like, at that moment, of course, you know what I'm saying? Of course, that, that was, I love it. Yeah. Easy like I said, money. When, easy money. Like like right now, like, you might, hey, babe, like they see me in the city, I got a show for, I might have a show for 150, 175, 200, whatever the case may be, and it's like, hey, as soon as, soon as after you do, but I'm performing at like nine to 11, but you still got the nightlife. Now you still got room to make some more bread. Right. How much you would charge me to come through this? Bro, I'm gonna work with you, give me 65, give me give me 70. Let me see, I'm coming in more, you know what I'm saying? I might, I might give you a song depending on how I'm feeling, I'm feeling right. the vibe, you might get one or two songs after, right. you feel me? But if not, we'll, you know, you get your money worth regardless. So often I feel like we see artists beef with the people who kind of help put them on to a certain yeah. degree. But you and Gotti have stayed true to each other. It seems, at least to the public guy, that you guys have never had any, any beef. How, how has that relationship remained so intact? Because we just, like, like, we understand, like, we two people, we come from the same city, for one. We understand the culture, we understand the hustle. We have the same exact goals. You know what I'm saying? We have the same exact goals and we listen. We just, just understand the business, bro. I'm not in competition with God. God is not in competition with me. That's how you get what you what you just said. Right. Because you're trying to be better than this person. You want to be bigger than this person. You're trying to outshine or outdo the, the person that put you in. Like, normally, like, it happens. Like, it just organically happens and you're not asking, asking for that. Like, mm -hmm. I have, like, all the time, like, with me and God to meet up and he tell me, like, Bro, you the Michael Jordan of this situation or this CMG situation. Like, you the Michael Jordan of this situation. I need you. I need your 200%. I need you focused. Mm. Like, if nobody else is focused, I need you focused, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? We 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 here. We cannot fail. And Like, bro, this, this, this pump me up every time. Just motivate me yeah. no matter what. Like, You've always put on for your city and you've never shied away from it. You've put on artists from your city. Yeah. Uh, Memphis is something that's obviously very close to you. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that John Moran is your guy. Yeah. Have you gotten a chance to holler at him? I know he's in some trouble right now. Yeah, unfortunately, the situation going on with him right now. I think, you know, you know like he's 23. I think he, it's, a, it's I feel like it's just a phase. Yeah. He probably don't even understand. Some people like, when I was 23, not like, let, let me quit talking like I'm just old here, but <laughs> you know, you get what I mean? Like when I was like, is when I was exactly 23, 24, it was like, I was just doing stuff and people had to tell me, I had to bump my head and God had to boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful to make it out the old situation. Some people don't even shake back from certain situations, sure. but you feel me? But I feel like Jagon, he just, he probably don't even know like what it is right now. He don't probably don't even believe like this is life something. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, you had them stages. Like I went through there, I was like, I had my homeboy like, I'm still pulling up to the traps. I done went platinum and I done done this show. I done been with this person. I done been on interviews with you and everything. I still go back to Memphis and I'm in a trap. I'm in the hood. I'm pulling up on the block, smoking, chilling. And he's like, bro, what you doing? Like I had a homeboy like, bro, what you what you, what you got going, bro? Get out of here, bro. You blowing the spot up. You making the spot <laughs> hot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I just look at it like this is one of them phases, bro. Y'all going to snap out of it. And, of course, I gave him encouraging words and told him, like, he was just like, I appreciate that, big bro. I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it right. All right. Let's talk about your new project, uh, hard, hard to, to Love. love. Yeah. Why Hard to Love? Why you call it that? Uh, I feel like Hard to Love. It can go a lot of ways. It's hard to love people. You know what I'm saying? Because the intentions they come with right now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got good intentions for you. You know what I'm saying? So, so when you kind of scarred and 
you kind of like burnt from situation fried. It's like you kind of look at other situations like that, like it's this that. You know what I'm saying? Like so, it, it makes it hard. It makes it challenging to to do certain things because of what you've been through or what sure. you're going through. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it's like not just, of course, like I I feel like I'm kind of a hard to love person too because of what I've been through and you know just relationship wise or friendship wise or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like I'm I'm, I'm a hard to love person, but you know I'd rather be. Hard to love, they're easy to play with. You know, mm. hard to deal with. You know what I'm saying? They're easy to play with. Like, Damn. that's how I feel. I hope that's a line on the album. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> that's I'd rather thing. be hard to love than easy to play with. No, for sure. That's a bar. No, for facts. It's on there. It's it on is. There okay, sure. good. Uh, lastly, before we get out of here, uh, the project, Hard to Love. Yep. I was supposed to drop May 26th, but it looks like that might change. Yep. Uh, why, why are you pushing it back? Uh, my favorite song. Uh, on the on the mixtape, on my favorite song on the mixtape. And let's and let me clarify that this is a mixtape. Hard to love is a mixtape. Oh, it's a mixtape. It's a mixtape. I'm going and that's why I just told you I'm in that mixtape mode. I'm going back to that hunger, ambition, push mode. And it's like it, I consider this one a mixtape. But when people hear, it, they're gonna be like, bro, this 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 body of music, this is an album to me. Like you're gonna hear people say that and you're gonna see that. But at the end of the day, it's like. Bro, like I'm going back to that hardest. Like you, I don't know if you remember that I'm going back to that hardest stage, that federal stage. Mm -hmm. I'm going, I'm giving my fans debt with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just feel like my favorite song on that project, it couldn't get cleared. Mm. And it, like so, I'm, we working towards that to make that happen. And it's looking like June second right now. Okay, it's June second. Like, it's looking like June second for sure. Like okay. for sure, for sure. Bag. Lastly, man, what do you want to leave the people with? What can they look forward to from you? Uh, you can look back, like like I said, man. I'm back. I'm back on. I'm just. I'm doing everything that I first started with. I'm. I'm not too heavy for this situation. I'm not too content. Uh, I'm rocking with the people, and I'm just level headed, bro. I'm, I'm level headed. Of course, I'm hard to love, but you know who? I feel like who ain't in this, today's time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In today's time. So, it is what it is. I'm here. We got hard to love mixtape about to drop June second, and we got the album on the way. So. Looking like July, August, so okay. stay focused, let's get it. And a wise man once said, I'd rather be hard to love than, than easy, easy to play, play with. with. Bag, I appreciate you pulling up, no, bro. Love. I got you, bro.